Alrighty, what's going on everybody? My name is Blitzwinger, and welcome to a special little video. So we're going to be kind of sidetracking, I guess you could say, which exactly is what we're doing. So we're going to be sidetracking uh, from the main storyline for just a sec to do a little bit of a... Uh, hmm, don't tell anyone, but uh, cheating. Shh, 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 don't, don't, don't tell anyone. Come on, stop it, stop, don't. Okay, so uh, now that I've made a fool of myself... Let's take a look at some of the cheats. So you guys really enjoyed the video for cheating that I made for uh, Lego Batman 2. So I decided to make the same type of video right here for, of course, uh, Lord of the Rings. So let's take a look at uh, how the process works. So basically what you would want to do is you would obviously, as I showed you right now, you'd want to press the start button to get into your pause menu. Then you're going to work your way down here into the extras option and you're going to go to enter code. Now, in the description box below, there will be a list of all the cheat codes that are available ahead of time. I'm letting you know. There is no cheat codes for multipliers higher than times two. The reason for that is because Travel Tales games did not want to break the game and kind of allow you to right away have a multiplier that is so huge that you can kind of just work your way through the world and purchase everything instantly. That being said, let's take a look at the multiplier that is available, which is the times two multiplier. So here's the code for the times two multiplier. It is one. So as you can see, it's a six uh, figure. I wanted to say letter, but then it's also numbers. So it's a six figure uh, code. Uh, so it's uh, one F. Oops, there we go. F five Y. Oops, there it is. Uh, H and two. Okay, so here we go. Let's give it a try. There it is. Unlocked. Studs times two. So, uh, the way that it works is then you go down here. This is basically all your power-up unlocks. So, as you can see, they are all available right here. Uh, I have, in fact, in the game, if you remember, in one of our episodes, unlocked the quest finder. But, there it is. The times two studs. And once you press it on, uh, as you can see right there... Uh, in the top left corner, kind of, not the very top, but right below your character, it says times two, which is kind of showing you uh, what the multiplier that you have uh, is currently in effect. Now, you can also get codes for different characters, um, brick finders, uh, other things that are very, very useful. Uh, for example, you can get some character studs, or something that I always find very, very, very useful is um, the, uh, it's like a, what is it called? This stud attractor or attract studs? What was it called? Attract studs. There we go. So that's the name. So let's do that uh, cheat code with you guys real quick just to, again, showcase you uh, how things work. So we're going to do that one real quick as well. So it's C7F. Uh, and of course, if you have the keyboard or anything like that, this, oh, God, F, come on, F, uh, J, it'll be faster this way. Um, you, if you have a keyboard, this would work much faster because you could just uh, enter the letters and you won't have to actually uh, go by each letter like I am because you could just simply tap the letter that you have. Uh, I need the number 7, which I completely skipped, and B, which is right here. So there you have it. Bam! Attract studs. Again, becomes available for us, which is very, very useful. There it is. Uh, which basically what it does is that the studs around you don't have to literally go pick them up. They are, in fact, attracted to you. So just as the title goes, that's what it does. So there you have it, guys. That is uh, how the cheat stuff works. There's actually a really cool, uh, cool cheat code as well, which is the 8-bit uh, music cheat, which makes the uh, all the music 8-bit. Eight uh, eight bit. So let's give that a try, actually. Let's try that out. That sounds kind of fun. Uh, so GD uh, 35, come on, 35, 35, and H, C, H, C, there it is, 8-bit music, uh, so we can activate that, and now you can hear all the music is in 8-bit, which is absolutely awesome, so have a listen. So how awesome is that? You gotta admit that that's absolutely spectacular that they went ahead and actually did the entire soundtrack of the game into 8-bit. I love that. That's awesome, especially with how great uh, the score is for uh, Lego, uh, for Lord of the Rings. Uh, making it into 8-bit makes it a little more fun in terms of 
bringing it into the Lego universe and uh, absolutely adorable and I love 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 8-bit music so to me that's a great little unlockable right there and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and of course if you could hit that like button guys it's the thumbs up button that says like next to it if you could hit that button that would be very very appreciated as it does help me out a whole ton of course make sure to share this video so that all your friends who are playing lego uh, lord of the rings can know the tips and tricks of how to cheat or maybe keep it hidden from your friends so they never know your secrets as to how you were able to unlock all your red power bricks so quickly they'll be like what the hell how are you so good you're in the first level, yet you have everything unlocked. Uh, so definitely take advantage of this, guys. In the description box, again, I repeat, in the description box below is where you can see a complete list of all the cheats that are available in this particular game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, again, hit the like button, guys. Subscribe, share the videos, and favorite the videos. I'll catch you guys with much more LEGO Lord of the Rings coverage and gameplay and walkthroughs and all that good stuff. And peace out, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.